Hello my friends, it is a Thursday, Friday, it's Friday today, it's after lunch sometime, I don't know, I like to tell you what time it is, but I have no clue, probably what, 1.30, 2, I don't know, I had to drop boys off here, I'm in Grafton, the boys are staying with friends for the weekend, and I'm at my shed, and I've also been off shopping, I don't think there's much to share with you, but I'll show you a couple of things, but looking in my shed makes me, oh, I, can't, I think about it. I think about it. For those who don't know who the hell I am, I'm Nelly. I am a reseller, but I do all sorts of other things. I metal detect when I can, and I, I go treasure hunting for things that I love. I love vintage, anything, but I've been selling on eBay for a while, as most of you know. But I'm at my other storage shed, my original storage shed. I just don't want to even look in there, to be honest. But what I'm going to show you right now is just a few little things I got this morning. I'm a bit of a nutter, but anyway... Um, one of the last things actually, one of the op, last top shops I went to, was ladies are sitting there on the shelf, they had these vintage photos. Now, I don't know about you, but when I see old photos that someone's discarded, I get a little bit sad and I actually like to adopt them. Maybe I'll find the owner, somebody in the family who actually owns them, I can give them back. I've got a few. I have, there was one beautiful wedding dress, one, wedding one that I sold years ago. I wish I had kept it, um, but I go through these phases of, yeah, yeah, and then. Don't be stupid, get rid of it. But anyway, I have got some at home that are older. But these ones are gorgeous. I want to share them with you first because I'm probably going to leave them here in the shed for now till I work out what to do with them. These only cost me one, two, a dollar each. Okay. Vintage lady. She probably, I don't know, maybe the 50s, maybe 50s, 60s, maybe. I don't know, maybe older. Sort of like, she reminds me of my, like my grandmother's, my grandmother's era. era. So that one this one is gorgeous this is a really old one probably 18 early late 1800s early 1900s you can see that very well she's looking very very serious the mother as they did back in those days and we know why it's to do with the yeah the flash or something um and this one it looks like something from the 1950s maybe 40s look at her she's stunning the only one I have oh there is one here another one here I'll show you none of them have got any I actually open the backs to see if there's any writing there's no writing on any of them this is the mum and child did they come from the same family i don't know on the back of this one it says four but i actually got it for, for a dollar sadly there's so much reflection yeah there we go that's them there nothing on them but this one actually has got writing on it this is a wedding so i presume these two are the these two here they're an older couple they got married and these are their these are their uh, party. And they've got the bridal doll here sitting on the back of this awesome old ute. <laughs> Love it. It's Florence and Fred Poole. So if you know anyone called Florence or Fred Poole, anyone like that in your family, I bought these in Grafton, so probably from this area. It's with Char Charles Ret Retrock, Retnock, Redmock, and Jane M. McBean or something, and Miss Bingley. So this is Miss Bingley here. I don't know why she's a miss, but anyway. But yeah, got that one as well. So I just want to share those with you. What else am I going to share with you? Let's have a look. Now, that was at an op shop I don't go to every single time, but occasionally, and they had them quite cheap, so that was good. I did go to um, one I don't go to very often, but I've got this jacket. Now, if anyone can tell me, it's a Denali jacket. And the only Denali I can find is actually North Face. But there's no North Face brand on it, but I actually got it for myself because it's black. I like black things. And the pattern, I love the pattern on it. But if it's worth something, I will sell it. But if it's not, I will wear it because we have so much rain here. The more more raincoats and stuff we've got, the better. Um, I got a lot of babies' clothes. I got a pair of jeans for myself. I'm manifesting jeans. So I was going, I need some jeans today. So I actually got some really nice, cost me $2. That black jacket was only $2 as well. So yeah, I got some really nice flares. I also got a lot of babies baby's clothes which I'm not going to go and show you but some of them are brand new and I only got it paid a dollar for them what else did I get I don't know um this I don't know why I bought it it cost me three dollars I don't know why I bought it but I love anything like that and I think if I ever one day if I ever get a shop which I keep saying I'm going to one day it's just not yet or might not happen but I really like that it's just like I thought I could put business cards or something in it you know I don't know but I, I really liked it it did cost me three but it's actually got um it's actually stamped made in England EPNS and it's very clean and very you know well looked after so I got that 
I think most of it was baby's clothes to be honest. The rest of the stuff was for baby's clothes except for these two items in this one. Um, and a couple of books which are not interesting. Other books are interesting to you. But I've got a couple of vintage books. This one here which is, well I think it's, well, it's got um, copyright 1947. Um, is, it, is that a 1947 book? Oh it's got a letter in here too. Someone's even written a letter. Oh. I have to read that now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got a letter in a letter in it, but yeah, it's got it's Raggedy Ann. So if anyone collects Raggedy Ann, I've got the book. Uh, I thought maybe because if we expected of me that I ought to get you a present that was nice and deep, Martin told me that it would be a nice thing to do. It was to do Penny. So I did. The book is for when you feel young, innocent and happy. The walking stick is for, <laughs> you've got a walking stick, for when you feel old, debauched and sad. Lovely, huh? I have tried not to be soppy and will therefore not expound about you, your many virtues, all my feelings, etc. But simply with you, wish you a happy and happy birthday. Love, Pete. P.S. Another epic in Mitchell Webster catastrophe letter writing. P.P.S. Don't worry if the P.S. wasn't good English. <laughs> so someone lovely gave his someone, partner, somebody, um, a raggedy Anne book at some time. Yeah, so... <laughs> That was really cute. And then I also got this one. The reason I got that one is because it's an old edition uh, too. It has got a little bit of, I don't know, a bit of markings on there, inside there, and someone's name at the top. But it could be done, in, I don't know if it's done. It's 1982, and it's one sold on eBay recently for around the $40 mark. I'll pop it up here. This, oh, this is a 1982 one as well, I'd say. Uh, yeah, 1980, 1981. Anyway, so I've got the magic pudding book as well. That's it. I'm going to go in there. I'll take you in in a second show you the freaking disgrace. Oh, my life. My life is good. I am grateful for what I have. So, uh, you guys know my shed in over the other way where, where I live. This is my other shed. This is a sickness. It is a sickness that many of us have. There is hundreds of dollars sitting in here. And I can tell vouch for that. And I'll show you some things I sold later. It's a sickness that we have to go and find a treasure and then we dump it somewhere. We don't get it listed in time because life gets ahead of us and we end up with this mess that I have. Wonderfully, gloriously, I'll say gratefully acquired. Um, and I'm here to take photos of the ladders. That's what I'm here to take photos of so I can try and sell them because I've got to come back on Sunday and if I can sell them between now and then I can come and get them maybe maybe not maybe I won't be able to get in there I don't think but anyway I'm going to come in here what I'm coming in here for I've been rattling away is I've come in here to actually take some photos of more stuff um put the photos in here for now I think because yeah um grab some blankets because it's getting cold um I just discovered a golf set my kids were looking for a golf set there's already one here might take that back with me and I can decide if they want to keep it or not but yeah that's what I'm here for so if I find anything exciting I mean this is ridiculous I actually should go through it properly and get rid of a lot of stuff that I can donate I think but I'm going to come back Sunday I think I'm going to do that then but in the meantime I'll probably be back I don't know but anyway I'll see you. okay it's about half an hour later so I spoke to you and I've come to the decision how I'm going to organize all this stuff home this lot because uh, these sell pretty well, okay. They're talking heads cassettes. I got them for free a while ago. Um, I've got jigsaw puzzles that are sealed and some vintage stuff and some bits and pieces like that. I've also got a blanket. <laughs> I've got a blanket I've been looking for for ages for one of the kids. Another spare blanket because we've got so many people living at home. Some of the stuff I had listed at one point. But I've taken photos of my ladders. I've taken photos of my other stuff down there. So what I'm going to do, every time I come down here, which is not very often, but when I do, I'll be taking stuff home decreasing the shed getting it home listing it ASAP taking whatever yeah and keep I'm going to just try over the pit. I'm not going to try I'm going to do this I'm going to remove a lot of stuff whether I get five dollars two dollars ten dollars I don't care just get rid of it okay and a dream I had the other night Ben Stiller told me I know laugh if you like I had the weirdest dreams told me to get rid of stuff so I'll keep it just you don't know who he is, an actor. Never met him, don't know him, but anyway, my dreams are very wild, usually. But um, I am 
going to do that that's going to be my mission the next couple of months is to decrease this amount in here advertise stuff when I come in for grafting um, yeah that's what I'll be doing so wish me luck I'll see you soon hi everybody it's Saturday the first pinch and a punch the first day of the month first of June I've got an 18 year old granddaughter about to be next Sunday oh my goodness that's my fourth fourth grandchild that's hit the 18 oh anyway it's been a week since the last little bit of video I just saw this then and I want to share a few things I got yesterday now I did a, a jewelry one which hopefully you most of you have seen the previous one that I've just done which I haven't even edited yet but it's going to come out hopefully today later this one will probably come out Sunday or Monday but I want to share some of the things I got back at the Hesperus again um recently now I didn't share this on my jewelry thing because I forgot I had it, but it was just these little, uh, I picked these up the other day. There's something else. Oh yeah, that too. I picked these up the other day from Vinnie's, believe it or not. They were really cheap, but they're actually dress clips and I've sold them these many, many times. They're very, very small little things, but they can sell $12 to $15. Still a profit. And also this quite ugly piece. Now the only reason I got it is because I didn't have my glasses on. I didn't have my loop with me and I couldn't see it through my camera lens. But I could see a stamp on it. Yeah, it's that. It's nothing pretty. It's just a gold tone thing. But the stamp is a mystery to me. And I don't know if anyone out there would know it. But it actually says BETTER. B-E-T-E-R. All in capital letters. And it has some numbers underneath it on the, on the class. It's just um, that section there on both sides. I cannot find any. It's a mystery. So that's the reason I got it. Because I thought, well, it's quite, you know, it's not the prettiest thing. But it's obviously, you know, someone liked it. And, uh. It was unique to me and that stamp got me interested so I grabbed that. So that should have been shared in my jewellery section but it's not so I'm sharing it here. Now yesterday was a bit of a uh, not much to be found. Hang on. I had to find these two yesterday which I thought they were really funky pair of earrings but they're going to stay as earrings. I'm going to actually use them for some upcycling project. They look really nice as a brooch. It really nice as, as something in your hair. I don't know but they're quite heavy as earrings but they're so funky they're only two dollars and i had to get them for that reason but anyway there was not much at all in any of the op shops i went to mind you what did i go to i got, went to uh two three four five six six and out of that i got a little outfit out of one the last one and i'll show you what i got the other ones but nothing nothing i walked out of two of them but my favorite option i walked out with nothing which is crazy for me because i usually get something but i went to salvos yesterday and i got these awesome bookends i'm actually keeping them because i think they're so funky and i would love to have a house of funkiness but i'm actually not going to leave, keep them as bookends that way they'll probably be facing out at some time or one will be going in one there i just like them they were three dollars each there are the brass type thing but aren't they gorgeous like they've even got patterns on the on the base of them but yeah i just really like them there's no makers marks or anything on them but i love them they've got a vintage look to them and um i grabbed them for that reason for me <laughs> yeah i shouldn't have even gone off shopping yesterday because financially but everything's gonna get better i know it. it's coming money's coming so i'm not gonna worry i've actually had a bit of a pick up on my ebay i might show you some of the things i sold um, I think I probably will. Actually, one of the things I want to share you with you. Oh, it's in the, in the bar, so I haven't posted it yet. Anyway, I'll show you here. Look at this. This thing here, right? I don't know how I've long. I don't know how long I've had it. I think it might have been in storage up, up north before we moved everything down here. And I think I had it listed a long time ago, very briefly, before I you know, moved and all the rest of it. And I, I listed it the other day, and I did a little bit of research. And you can see, I sold it for $75. It's just a little lighter, but it's got HMAS something or other on it, Gridley or something. Um, and I did a quick Google search of some of the old lighters that are, could be for military purpose. People want to buy them because it's military sort of symbols on it, ship on it. They collect lighters. There's so many different things. But I had $85, and I took $75. Like, my old me probably would have put 15 bucks on it. <laughs> <laughs> that but yeah i did some research so please always research everything i mean some of you know that i made a mistake on a piece of jewelry not long back and i didn't research which is very odd for me and it was a 500 hundred dollar piece of jewelry that i sold for 38 dollars 600 dollars i think someone sold theirs for in a box mine wasn't box but yesterday actually there was more stuff i just realized i got some little dresses in the car by a brand called uh i forget it now but anyway i got a brand i'll try and find a photo it's just here 
I got three of those dresses by that brand, so hopefully they'll sell. Really pretty, little fun, really funky. One's got a fairy and books and stuff, and the other one's got um, gemstones, like gemstone sort of pictures all over it. And the other one has got, if I remember, I'll post a picture somewhere if I can. And the other one's got, um, which I like, it's a little Alice in Wonderland sort of theme on it. So I got those for that reason, they were super cheap. Um, at the same shop, I couldn't believe it. You won't believe what I just found now. <laughs> crazy uh, my granddaughter and I were just walking up and when I looked up and I saw you won't believe it Doc Martens look brand new now I didn't pay up for them I did but I know how much I paid I paid $200 for my own pair and they were on special these are patent leather um, shiny now I don't know whether I'm going to sell them or I'm going to give them to my granddaughter who's about to turn 18 I don't know if she'll wear them if she decides she doesn't want them I'll sell them but I'm sort of very tempted because they're Doc Martens man if these had fitted me I would have kept them I paid fifty dollars for them, but I know how much these can go for. Even if I sold them for a hundred, it's excellent. It's fifty dollars profit, but I know they go for a lot more than that. But look at that! I don't think they've ever been worn. And if it just they're just like new, just like new. I was worried that they weren't real, but I've got all the signs of being real, so they're definitely real. Doc Martens. <laughs> I'm just going to believe that I found them. But what I couldn't even believe more was right next to them was another pair of Doc Martens. <laughs> Um, these will probably sell for around $200. I'd pay a little bit less for these, but again, I don't think they've ever been worn. They've just, they've, all three were sitting there and I put them on the counter and some of the kids going, ah, Doc Martens. I'm going, so glad I got them when I did. But believe it or not, on the floor was this other pair of Doc Martens. <laughs> now, if I was being a nice grand, I could give one each to all my kids, but these are very goth looking. I don't think anyone will wear them. I don't think anyone's going to wear the floral ones. Those ones here, I think someone will wear, but yeah, another pair. Um, I didn't even notice they had the beautiful heart and buckles, but oh, I'm so stoked. I could not believe it. Another pair of brand new Target boots, but rubber one, like rubber base ones for the mud for my granddaughter in the bus. That's all I found. Um, I will share with some more with you. I'm just going to go see what I actually have sold, and I'll come back in a second and uh, talk about that. Okay, I've got written down the only pen I could find. Um, I this I only. Saw, my eBay has been so horribly dead, um, and at my like online hasn't been selling a great deal. I sold a bit of jewelry, but not a great deal. Um, but the last couple of days, positive thinking. I keep putting positive thinking. If my negative thoughts come out, I pass the sauce. That's the word I read. I listened to something somewhere say, "Get that positive, that negative thought out by saying something like pass the ketchup." And I thought, I don't do ketchup. I'll do sauce. So it's like pass the sauce. <laughs> I'll think of a better word later. But every time my negative thinking comes I said no and switch it out be grateful so my positive thinking may be working well it's working I'll say it's working um, and I'm grateful for that because I sold a bulk heap of clothes now this lot of clothing as you know I bought some of a lady and she told me she had a lot of vintage stuff in it and it's not one piece of vintage and I should have asked her from the beginning that you know what sort of labels have you got what sort of styles and I didn't I didn't I didn't and I bought a whole heap of stuff and I'm regretting it because I'm still in debit of all that stuff but I sold this lot for 120 now to sell it quicker I put did put a hundred um I put ten dollars only postage now postage is going to cost me about 30 I'm probably going to make and then you've got to take out your eBay fees so I'm probably going to make you know 60 70 80 dollars maybe 80 um with that lot which is bringing my little total up a bit more so you know it's only owing me less and I've still got a lot more to sell so doing the bulk lot was really worth it on eBay so I'm going to do that again uh, with her items that she sold and these are all size 20 clothing um, not much to tell you this old tin it's just one that's been sitting in my stash you know my stash I have stashes of everything I've got so much stuff to sell I don't really need to go op shopping but I do be just in case like yesterday was worth it um, it was just a Nile tin I took I sent an offer at 12 they took it They've been watching it for since somebody been watching it for quite a while so it's just an old tin people collect the old tins it's just a you can see what it is it's just that sitting in my little collection for too long um this just striped jacket was in my collection of uh dress up clothes that i thought yeah get rid of it took sent an offer of 20 they took it so that was good and that was they took it pretty quickly and the lighter which you saw before now speaking about this, this is the lighter again um i only think i don't know if i said that i've only listed like only posted it the day before, the morning before or something like that. So it was a really, really quick, 
a really quick one. Now some lighters can actually go for more, and I do have more lighters scattered around my house, but some I wanted to collect, but I don't need things. I need to get rid of things. I need to get some money, so I need this front yard done. Um, if I find them, I might sell them, but uh, I don't know. We'll see, because they're ladies' lighters, and they're so pretty. Um, but we'll see, because that was worth it. $75, you know, I probably made 60 or something like that, whatever eBay takes. I'm not going to work it out now. Um, the pink... I can't read my... Oh, these pink shiny pants. The pink shiny pants right here. I got them at um, Salvo's a few weeks ago. If, if you've seen it, you would have seen that I got them and I liked them because they were funky and different. And I sold them for $25, which is still a profit for me. Um, they can go for a lot more, but I also want to move stuff quickly. So we did. It's gone. And the very last thing, which is the very first thing I sold in the last week or something last week, was this carriage set. Look at this. Now, look at the price I sold it for. Now, um, these also were in my stash from up north. I don't know if I ever got them listed. I think I might have listed them for five minutes at one time. I can't remember. But I these didn't take long to sell either, and I had quite a few watches on it. And these, I think I got them. No, actually, did I get them up north? No, I didn't. These were in a bunch of free stuff I got in Grafton at one time. That's what they were. I'm pretty sure they were free. So the profit was really good on this lot. These are just two plastic vintage train carriages made in Italy, blah, blah, blah. Keep an eye at it. Very clean, all been in the styrofoam in the bag all that time. Yeah, that was a really, really good profit. Sadly, the money I've got from that ended up going to other things in the family, you know, people need something. But anyway, eventually I'll get to a point where I can hopefully save some money and not give it all away. That is it. I am going to go now and leave you alone. And uh, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Thanks for my old and new subscribers. Uh, thank you to everyone who comments. And if I try, if I miss you, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm just in a flunk, a funk, and I don't get back to replying. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And hopefully, if you haven't subscribed, you will, because it's been a very slow and tedious rise for me to try and get anywhere near a thousand. And I've kind of given up on that. I'm just going to keep doing this as a diary for me. And for you. All right, guys, take care. Hopefully, you're uh, selling some good stuff. If you haven't got selling stuff, it's because you're not listing. If you haven't got anything good to sell, check around your house because you'd be surprised at what you'll find around your house that you no longer want, need, or that someone else is looking for. And some things are worth money. Case in point, that lighter. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.